like so like once you guys have it downloaded yeah, like you should have it downloaded and you have this zip file sorry I was messing with my headphones my head itches but once you have the zip file with the RAR files in it it's you know it's kind of annoying but you just I use 7-zip you just extract it to the folder and you'll have this folder so once you have this folder God damn it. Once you have this folder, you want to open your VST plugins folder. So you're just going to go to File Explorer. I have the 32 bit version, by the way, so it's X32. So if you want to follow along and do the same thing, it works with 32. I'm not sure about 64. I didn't try 64, but go to your C drive and then go to x86 for 32 bit programs and then go to. Where is it at? There it is, VST plugins. So you want to go to your VST plugins. I'm going to go ahead and delete the tapex plugin and I'm gonna go to FL Studio and I'm gonna refresh my um, I'm gonna refresh my plugins list so it'll say new you'll see exactly what I, like I'll, you'll see exactly on here how you'll see it so I want to open up this folder and then once you have your I don't why the fuck did I close the VSC plugins folder I'm retarded anyways C drive 86 VST plugins. Okay, so once you have this folder open, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the part one, and then there's going to be an X32 folder. You're going to highlight these, and then drag and drop. And then once that's in there, I'll show you how to do the next few files. Okay, so now we're done, and on these, you just want to click continue and then continue again, and then you'll have these in here. So now you can close this. Now on these three, it's a little bit different. So on here, what you want to do is you want to drag this folder in, but it's going to give you and a data error on the file so you can cancel click yes and it'll st it'll tell you the data error again so it's dark souls so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the tapex instruments folder in here and then I'm also gonna open it in here and then dark souls is the one that I don't want so I'm gonna control a to highlight all of them or you can click and drag but control a is easier and then you want to control click dark souls to uncheck it and you want to drag and drop into the tapex instruments folder so now that this one's done, you just want to do the replace files again. And then go back, and then you want to rinse and repeat for the next two. So now that these are done, you should have it in there. So you can just go ahead and close this folder and that. And then you can open up FL Studio. And I don't have it in here. So I, I'll show you right here. I don't have Tape X, which is what it'll show up as. So go to Options, File Settings. And then for me, I just have this refle Refresh plugin list. Sorry. Fucking speech impediment. So I click that click OK and then it shows up right here I got a new plugin tapex and I'll show you that it works as well I'll drag it in and it shows up here and Sorry, that's a little loud. I'm gonna dial that back and you got the different ones as well and there you go so I hope this helped hope it works for you all um, it just so happened that my all of my files that had data errors were the first files I'm hoping that's the same for you all but it's the same concept if they have data errors just control a and then control click the ones that have data errors and you should be good so uh, yeah hope this helps